DerpyCon 2017, The Good, The Bad, and The Ugly. DerpyCon was a multi-genre convention held from November 17th through the 19th, 2017 at the Hyatt Regency Morristown in Morristown, New Jersey. Now, unfortunately, DerpyCon ran into a slight situation this year. There were many, many conventions occurring the same weekend, including Anime New York City. I have a conflict of interest. I was part of a group that had guest status. My opinions in this video do not reflect the groups. For the good, the convention had additional seating this year back by the theater area, which ended up being a really nice thing because people could sit down and relax, and it did take some crowding out of the lobby. The convention this year again paid for guidebook. Considering a lot of larger conventions will not pay for guidebook, it's impressive that DerpyCon has it, and it really does make the weekend run much smoother. The Masquerade, again this year, was a tight operation, even with new people involved with it. They did start a half hour late, like last year, but ended 15 minutes early. It's a very, very efficient operation, one of the best small convention masquerades you can find. Morristown, again, was great to DerpyCon. There's so much to do in the area, from a classic arcade to all kinds of food. It's just a really nice area to hold a convention. For the bad, what was absolutely bad? Nothing really. There was nothing that was absolutely that terrible. For the ugly, what should have been better? Friday was the convention's slow day. The convention really didn't start till the afternoon. The crowds were a little bit light that day, and they could have used a little bit more programming to shore up Friday. Saturday was a little bit overweight, especially in the later afternoon. A lot of big panels, a lot of guest panels, a lot of stuff to do. Yes, it was the convention's most attended day, but they could have sent some of that programming to Friday night to reinforce that. There seemed to be less dealers this year, and with Anime New York City occurring and several other events, I'm not exactly surprised by that. It did make the dealer's room a little easier to navigate. They are able to put autographs in the back section, which I believe they've done before. But even with less dealers, I will say I ended up spending more at this convention's dealer's room than many others. It was still a reasonably good quality room. I saw some tech issues in panel one that could be easily resolved by a roaming staff member checking in at the start of every event in that room. That room had a soundboard in it that, if you don't know how to turn it on, you don't want to touch it, but a staff member was not always available, and you have to stay on schedule. I have saw the situation twice on Sunday, one where it wasn't turned on, and the other where a group had moved equipment around, and there were no sound coming out of the speakers afterwards. It's easily resolved by just a staff member being around. Perhaps maybe one of the weakest things is the heavy security and some of the security policies around the convention. And a lot of this is not policies being enforced by the convention and the convention's own security staff. It's from the security of the hotel and business complex where the convention is located. I saw a lot of people having to be talked to by security around the convention. A lot more than usual, and that is concerning. Some of the issues seem to revolve around wearing masks and where they can be worn. The convention might just have to make a policy where cosplay that involves masks are banned. It might be the easier thing, but I'd also like to see maybe a little look at what's going on with all these people having to be talked to at the convention. Now, I think DerpyCon security staff does a great job. Overall, DerpyCon had another respectable year. This is just a nice, fun, easy convention to attend that has nice guests, good attendees, good staff, it's a convention you really should be attending. Unfortunately, with the increased competition in the weekend, they did suffer a 600-person attendance loss, which I hope for next year they will easily regain, because the dates for next year are going to be November 9th through 11th, 2018. The convention is moving a week earlier and will not be the same weekend as Anime New York City. I'm going to give the convention a B, because even with the attendance decrease, you really couldn't tell, and the convention was still really good. I'm going to end this video with a hashtag Dammit Jeff. Thanks for watching.